Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. We're going to be doing TVA trait rolls on my free to play account. I'm going to take this one a little bit differently than my main account. I'm going to explain that as we go into the video because on my main account, I think I'm going to go towards more of a pure PVP metal where on this account, I'm going to go on a PVE metal, meaning negative 60 ground on it. And I'm explaining why. But before we jump into that, we're going to collect our TVA metal out of the mailbox. <laughs> They're not going to let me collect the traits, are they? <laughs> I don't have enough inventory space for these trades. Let me go sell some metals and I'll be right back. I honestly don't know why that they don't make trade metals stack. Like, I need a good reason why they don't stack. Please, we have so many metals with trades. Please, just, just make them stack. That's like a quality of life update I would love to see. Stop forcing us to buy inventory that is not needed, especially when we have to hold on to these trade metals for later on. I think that would be a great implement into the game. So, uh, let's get our tier 9 metal. <laughs> Holy crap. Wait till you see my main account. <laughs> oh god. I'm gonna do that on a separate video because I'm not sure what I want to do with that one just yet And I'm not itching. I am itching. I'm so itching to do this. Anyways, let's jump in Let's talk about what's best for this metal. This is just like the birth by sleep metals skill wise attack boost 8 max 9 max SP gauge 0 or 1 Maximum if you put two and you have extra attack, this is gonna hurt you so much because right there that last part gauges uses plus two So even if you have attack boost max SP gauge zero on it It's gonna cost you two if you have extra attack this metal is always always gonna cost you four gauges If you have that everything every single birth by sleep metal with extra attack You're gonna get screwed over very very fast and if future metals in the uh, if future metals come out with that plus two gauges as well or more Two might be the minimum. They might do like plus four gauges on really powerful metals. Think about your SP. It's going to go bad. So you want to put and you want to save those attack boost maxes. SP gauge zero. One minimum. Maximum. So get that out of the way. Don't be confused at four there. This actually costs 12. So if you just put attack boost eight max on this, this is going to cost you 12 SP with extra attack. And that is a no, unless that's your final metal. And somehow you have exactly 12, then that's no problem. But trust me, it's going to hurt you down the line. So let's lock this up. What else you guys want to do? Don't forget Chippendales to make these metals more powerful, just like every other metal in the game. And straight from there is traits. We have five trait rolls. Now, don't forget, we have supernova on this metal. Supernova does more damage the more plus 1,000 strengths you have and this is where I'm like what do I do in my free-to-play count and what do I do in my main account the reason I'm gonna go for negative 60 ground on this account is because he is a single target so he only hits one enemy if there's a group of enemies and you use this metal he's gonna do the smaller multiplier which is like 46 if there's one enemy he's gonna do a total of 65 points something 65 multiplier is by far the biggest multiplier in the game I think the other one is like 57 in second place or 59 from these guys and this guy has 65 It's huge guys. It's a huge huge multiplier um, and copy metals can copy that base multiplier as well It's very nice. So when you look at traits the reason I'm gonna go for the whole negative 60 on this account is is because I do have nominee over here and what nominee does is that the next metal or yeah the next metal in your keyblade setup will become an AOE metal so I'm gonna use nominee the turn before my TVA metal and I'm gonna have that huge multiplier for AOE and that's why for this account I think negative 60 grounds can be totally fine so I'm gonna aim for negative 60 ground plus 1,000 plus 1,000 extra attack and another plus 1,000 or aerial if I really want to care about all of the content in the game so I got 17 rerolls let's jump in and let's try to pull this off so uh, during my streams my birth by sleep streams you guys saw them I uploaded them for my traits what Drew on my streams and been telling me is like, if you get a good trait, let it roll. If it's a bad trait, the next trait you quick stop. So I got sleep resist. Next trait, I'm gonna go for a quick stop. Now I don't think, I don't know if this actually works or not. It's just a little fun thing you can do, and it's a good balance between of let it roll and let it quick stop. So here we go and quick stop. HP. So it's another bad trait. <laughs> trait number three. I'm gonna do the quick stop again just to see if I can get out of those bad traits. And raid damage is apparently a good trait, so we don't quick stop that. Another max HP. Wow, if that was plus 1,000, I'd be super happy right now. Now, I've seen some people reroll traits 30 times and still had bad traits, so I don't know if this is going to turn out good. Let's wait a little bit longer. 
There, <laughs> there we go. Extra attack, baby. Extra attack off the bat. So we got one of the hardest ones out of the way. Now I want those plus 1,000s and negative 60. So since we got a good trait, I'm going to let it play out from this point on until another bad trait shows up. So if this works, this should be a good trait. Ray damage apparently is a good trait. So let's just keep it rolling. Let's just keep it rolling. So we're five traits in. We have 12 more chances. <sighs> Do I want to burn through all of them right now? Yes. <laughs> I do want a perfect TVA medal. Oh, but I'm nervous. There's the poison resist. So it's not like it's a guaranteed thing or anything like that. Um, it's just something you guys should try to pull off. Now, if I'm going to go for PvP wise, I'm going to try to keep these resist in there so people don't do the whole TVA thing. Not TVA, the whole uh, triple threat thing. But worst case scenario, I'm going to try to replace all that. Max uh, max HP is actually a good way to get through tanking. Even the new organization member can be tanked with proper HP traits. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to quick stop. Oh, ho, ho, ho. almost forgot. I banged the mic. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, so that's going to be a plus 1,000 right over here. Yeah, let's do a plus 1,000 right over here. So that's one plus 1,000. Already, this is like what I want. I want that extra attack and plus 1,000. If I get the negative 60 ground, I'm going to keep it, I guess, on this account. But I'm aiming for the rest to be plus 1,000. So I'm not going to quick stop it because it was good. Max gauges works for... It works for that whole... It costs two more gauges, so that's not terrible. It's actually a little beneficial, guys, to have that plus two gauges. But if you want pure raw damage out of this metal, then try to go for all that plus 1,000 negative 60s. Come on. Oh, yeah, I was supposed to quick stop. <laughs> paralysis? Yeah, I want paralysis instead of sleep. That whole paralysis, max paralysis, really works in a lot of scenarios here. So I'm supposed to be quick stopping this. Let's go double quick stop. Ouch. Ouch, the sleep. I feel like saving some for later, but ouch. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, no. This looks bad. This looks bad. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The max gauges. Okay, we're definitely going to put max gauges there instead. Oh, no, guys. Oh, no. Okay, we got six more six more rolls here. Six more rolls here. After this, I will be doing a little uh, showcase in uh, Coliseum or a high-level enemy. Oh, this hurts. This hurts. This hurts so bad. Well, that was an extra attack. Let's let it roll out. Maybe I'm going too fast with it. Maybe I'm trying to do it too quick. I should let them roll in between. 17 rerolls, and you can probably not get perfect traits. Mm. <laughs> That's raid damage. My worst trait. Oh no, do I just do I just do it all now? Oh no. I guess those gauges are gonna help, but there goes my uh, idea of a perfect TVA medal. Are you kidding me? I could have had a rating medal. I guess I could have had a rating medal, but man, rating is so boring, and I just don't want to do it. I know this would make it a lot quicker, but no, it's not happening. I want that. I want that content, PVE content. Come on, come on, or PVP plus one thousand. Yes. Whew. Okay. Goodbye, raid. There we go. Two plus one thousand extra attack and four gauges. It is not that bad, all right? That is actually not that bad. These metals cost a lot. They have the extra two gauges on them. So if I'm stuck with this, I'm stuck with this. But please, the last two trades just be another plus 1,000 or negative 60s. Oh, okay, we're coming in. We're coming in hot. Yes, yes, okay. All right, worst case now, if I do a put attack boost XP gauge on this with a zero, uh, this has two gauges on it, so it nullifies the two gauges that it did. So this will cost zero, ideally, but not 100%. Come on, another plus 1,000 or negative 60. Oh, the gauges are back. Okay, well, uh, yeah, we'll place gauges for gauges. Why not? For the shits and giggles. So there we go. It's a PvP medal for me. Uh, as much as I wanted this to be a negative 60 ground on there, for aerial or ground, especially ground, so my nominate can be kicking in. You know what? I'll take the PvP stands. It's not as exciting for me because PvP has been very lackluster. Uh, you can make top 1,000, get a gold ticket, silver ticket, open it. Okay, there's nothing really to evolve because everything comes as a 7-star in 5 Mercy pulls or just 7-star every pull or an avatar board. So PvP is not the most exciting, but when they did jewels in PvP, that was pretty exciting. So if that ever comes back, 
at least I've got a tank and a metal. And like I said before, the Supernova does stack with those plus 1,000. So I'm really happy. I'm really happy with this. Very happy. That takes care of my gauges. All I gotta do is clean this guy up, and we're gonna go see what the uh, animation looks like. I've stayed away from everything. Discord, YouTube, I've watched nothing on this animation, and I'm ready to embrace this for myself. I'll be right back, guys. So quickly, I'm going to go over some Keyblades with you guys. Starting off with the Starlight. Starlight, he works beautifully, especially once you guys get your new Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie or Shion. He's going to work in the second slot. Better with Kyrie because he does, um, he's missing 7 upright strength up, but he takes care of everything else. So if you do have a Kyrie here, it's perfect. If you have a Shion there, it's going to be missing that 7 upright strength, which is going to make a difference, but not in every single quest, especially in PvP. It's still going to do a pack a punch, but you could always just... Put it over here if you want to, and then finish off your buffs over here with these two or any other combination. So it works two spots without an issue of extra attack. Extra attack, the second one will get all the buffs that it needs as well. So Starlight is one of my favorite because it has two of those slots, and also the Burst by Sleep Trio plus Supernova Sephiroth fits on this Keyblade perfectly. Then you have Lady Luck, but I don't recommend Lady Luck to anyone. You can put wherever you want. That's why I didn't really bother. Olympia, again, slot... Five and slot three works perfectly because it's all after your buffers and your debuffers or PvP, your defense boost six and all that. And then you have this meta over here, over here, wherever you want to go with that. And if you put it over here and you got one of those copycat medals that copy backwards twice, uh, then boom, you got yourself two TVA medals in one Keyblade. But there's also backward copy medals here and forward copy like two nominee. So it doesn't matter where you put it. This Keyblade works really, really good for that. Divine Rules has nothing. Sleeping Line, obviously, plenty of spots. Uh, the best spot is going to be up here or right beside Phantom if you guys have yourself a Phantom. Don't forget, uh, Pet Slot, any Keyblade. This metal fit on any Keyblade, obviously. Uh, Stroke of Midnight doesn't have an upright. Missing A can work, again, with extra attack. Even if you have a Kingdom Hearts 3 Shion or this uh, other way of doing it over here, you could use that if you have Kingdom Hearts 3 Shion, but you're missing that 7 upright. So it's not ideal there, but it is a spot there, just if you really, really have to squeeze it somewhere. I wouldn't do that, though. And then, of course, Fairy Stars with an N multiplier of 4.701 for my 108 out of 120 Keyblade slots. It is a really high multiplier. It's right at the end of the Keyblade. It's going to do a ton of damage. You can copy with your Shions. You can backwards copy with your copycat medals. You can do whatever you want with this. And I really like those two Keyblades, Starlight and Fairy Stars. But we're going to jump into a quest right now and see what the animation looks like and how much damage it does. Sad part is that I didn't have Attack Boost Max SP Gauge, so this is going to cost me a lot until a new avatar board comes out i bought all the previous ones already i just don't have any more because of all the medals in the game <laughs> yay so i figured why not show this medal off during the Zemnis event so Zemnis is level 5000 you know you need negative 60 traits to do a lot of damage here but we're going to jump in with no negative 60 traits and see what we can pull off so I think I have enough gauges right now to pull this off. Let's go win. TVA, attack boost 7 max, not 8 max on both the copy metal and uh, the TVA metal itself. And let's see if we can do any damage with all those plus 1000s. The only thing that's going to hurt here is 7 gauges, but Kyrie's going to restore 10, so that's 17. So it's not going to be terrible. We are going to use our uh, Elsa, on, yeah, sorry, Elsa there to activate the Supernova. So I get that little bit of extra guilt bonus on top of it. So you guys get to see a little extra there. Now, this is going to be a tier 6 metal. Shion is a tier 6. She's going to copy a tier 9. So you're going to see the difference between the two of them, especially with the plus 1000s. So we're doing 40 million. Oh my god, that animation. Hold up. Is that a shot lock? But wait, wait, wait. Before we jump to that, 40 million over what? 7 hits? That's a lot of damage just for something that doesn't have negative 60. And that's without plus 1000s. That is without plus 1000s. I love the animation. 95 million. 95 million, 379, 95, 379 times 7 hits. Without negative 60 ground, I just did 667 million damage <laughs> with the TVA medal. 38 million per hit. 38, 520 times the 7 hits. We just had 269 million on the extra attack. This metal alone with extra attack and those plus 1000s almost almost hit a billion damage. I cannot wait to see someone use negative 60 ground. My main account might get negative 60 ground, but again, I'm aiming for all those plus 1000s. 
with such a high multiplier, the 65 multiplier, plus all the plus 1000s, and once I put attack boost 9 max on this, I don't think I'm going to need negative 60 for this. It's going to help for sure, but I think we're at enough strength and multiplier that we're going to go through enemies' defenses without the negative 60 like we just did. And of course, the sub slots plus the booster on the starlight really, really help. So no negative 60, and <laughs> we almost hit a billion damage in one metal. That's amazing. And let's show off the last thing, which is the supernova for the TVA. Supernova is going to go off. It has a lot of plus 1000s. 454 million damage. One metal, guys. One metal when over a billion damage. One billion HP. <laughs> TVA is so broken. I cannot wait to see what they bring on the future. I don't know how they're going to really top this off. Um, but if you guys did get one, this is going to last you quite a while. I do think there will become replacements for this metal. Obviously, it's only first of its tier 9s with the Birth by Sleep trio. So this is just the start. Every metal gets outdated. So anyone that's missed this metal, don't worry too much. You will find a replacement, especially if you were smart enough to save a bunch of jewels for the next upcoming metals. Kingdom Hearts 3 is around the corner. that They might be doing some special for that and a new special metal. Who knows? This could have been the start. It just gets better and better and better for all of these days, guys. It always does, so don't worry too much. Save those jewels, most important. Uh, but let me know. I'm really interested. Did you guys get negative 60 ground? Test it out on Xemnas here on round 13, and let me know how much damage you guys are pulling off with negative 60 ground. I'm very excited to know this. Just this one metal alone. Holy crap. <laughs> That's amazing. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.